Kia ora, good morning everyone, Rich Wong here. Welcome back to the channel. Ever since I did a video about the real-time nut feature arrival on the Panasonic Lumix S5 II, a lot of you guys have then messaged me or emailed me and asked me whether you can do some similar thing, apply LUT to your photo file but during the post-processing. So the answer really depends on what photo editing software that you use. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can apply LUT to your photo file to do the color grading if you are using Adobe Lightroom or Photoshop. Okay, first thing I want to show you is how to use LUT file in Lightroom. But to do that, first you need to go to Photoshop and try to open any of your RAW file. And the reason is just to bring up this camera RAW dialog so that you can import your LUT into the Adobe system. And to do that, it really depends on what version of the camera RAW that you are using. For me, currently I'm using the camera RAW version 15 and with this version, what I need to do is go to this icon here and click it. And then you can see there's a create preset. So if you are using Windows, what you need to do is to press the L key and then you press on the create preset. But I'm using Mac, so what I need to do is hold down the option key and then I press create preset. And if you do that, it will open a great profile dialog, which you should see there is a color lookup table here. And if you see it, that means you have bring up the correct dialog. So what you need to do now is give the name of the LUT here. I'm going to use the Kinect LUT that I got from the company called Gamut, which I have used in my real-time LUT video as well. A quick disclaimer, Gamut sent me this Kinect LUT for me to try it out, but they haven't paid me any money and I'm just using it in this video because this is the LUT that I've been using recently. So I'm going to type the name here, Kinect01 and group here. You can create a new group if you want to put it under a special group. So what I'm going to do is to say gamut kinet. All right. And uncheck all these boxes. And then you take this and then you find the LUT file that you want to import. So I'm going to use this kinet01 here. Press load. And then that's all you need to do. Press OK, and it should be imported into the system. And then you can repeat it a few times to import different LUT file that you have. Now I'm going to show you another one. I'm going to import the next one, the Kinect Seal 2, which if I try to import it, you may see an error like this. So, what happens is for some of the LUT file, um, if you see this error dialog, what you should do is try to open up your LUT file using a text editor. So this is the LUT file that I was trying to import and that has an error. So what I'm going to do now is to open it using a text editor. If you do that, it's best to back up your LUT file first, just in case you did something wrong. So you can still restore your backup copy. And then you just need to scroll to the end of the file. And if you find there is no line break after the last uh, number here, what you can do is press enter. So it will look like this. And then if you save it, and now if you go back to camera raw and you try to import the file again, Oh, let me change the group first. And this time you can import it successfully. So you just need to repeat, do this for all the LUTs that you have. Unfortunately, I'm not aware of any way to do a batch import of multiple LUTs at the same time. So you have to do it one by one. So once you have done it for all your LUTs, 
you can then start your Lightroom. Or if you have already started before, just restart your Lightroom. Okay, now we are back in Lightroom, and this is a photo that I want to use as an example to show you how to apply the LUT. So what you need to do is pretty simple. Make sure you are in the develop panel, and then the profile. By default, usually it is the Adobe color. So you click on it, and then you click browse, and then you should be able to find the folder that you have created previously with all your LUTs in it. And here, when I hover over the mouse over the different LUTs, then you can see a preview of the LUT that you are highlighting. So for me, which one I like the most, um, I think maybe Kine O2. I think this is my favorite from this LUT pack. And I can click on it. And another thing that you can now do is you can change the intensity of the LUT. So by default, it is 100%. And you can make it stronger if you want, or you can make it a bit more subtle. So whatever you want, choose something that looks the best to you. And after that, press escape, and then you can come back to the normal edit panel, and then you can do more fine adjustment if you want to. So this is how you can apply LUT inside Adobe Lightroom. And let's now go to Photoshop, and I'll show you how to do it in Photoshop. Okay, now I have the same file, but it is opened in Photoshop. And to apply the LUT, it is very easy. What you need to do is come down here, make sure you have the layers panel visible, and then you create an adjustment layer and choose color lookup. And here, you should be able to see the load 3D LUT, and you click on it, click the load 3D LUT, and then you can go and find the LUT file that you have. And let's apply the same LUT, the Kinect 2 which is my favorite. And double click. And now it will be applied onto your photo. If you want to reduce the intensity, you can change the opacity of the layer that you have just created. You can make it down to zero or 100%. But unlike Lightroom, I do not know how you can make it over 100%. Well, you can do it if you just duplicate the adjustment layer to two layer, then you can make it stronger. But if you only have one layer, then it seems like you can only make it 100% as the maximum intensity of the LUT. Okay, so this is how you can apply the LUT to your photo using Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, just drop a comment below and I will try to answer your questions.